let us communicate. Don't we feel great when we talk to our family and friends? We all love to share information, ideas and feelings with our near ones. This sharing is known as communication. We communicate when we talk about what we know, learn about new things, send or receive messages and sing or dance. We can communicate in many ways like by listening, by speaking, by typing and sending emails or by reading. Friends, have you ever wondered how would people in olden times communicate without computer or TV? They did that with the help of smoke signals, pigeons and by beating drums. Nowadays, people communicate using a variety of ways like mobile phone, TV, newspaper, book and computer among others. Let us look at the cases below. Shobhit is speaking with his neighbor. Aryan is talking to his aunt on the mobile phone. Nena is writing a letter to her grandmother. All these are examples of personal communication because it is happening between two persons at a time. Communication can also happen with many people at the same time. Like the news reader on the television tells us about today's weather. An advertisement on the radio talks about a new chocolate in the market. This is known as mass communication.